Hey there, future real estate agents. Welcome to our channel where we empower you with the knowledge and skills to conquer the real estate state exam. My name is Maggie Peyoso and I am a Florida licensed real estate instructor and the proud owner of Maggie's Real Estate Academy. I bring you tips and tricks that will help you pass the math portion of your real estate state exam. Today, we have something truly game changing to share with you, the incredible T method. Are you ready to discover the powerful tool that can help you solve around 75% of the math questions on the exam? Let's dive right in. Picture this. You're sitting in the exam room feeling confident about your real estate knowledge, but then you stumble upon a math problem that sends shivers down your spine. Don't worry, you're not alone. Many aspiring agents struggle with the math portion of the exam. That's why we're here to introduce you to a simple yet highly effective technique that will revolutionize your problem solving approach. Introducing the T method. Say goodbye to wondering whether you have to multiply or divide. The T method can be used for a variety of percent problems like capitalization rate, commissions, property taxes, down payment, sales price, market value, net operating income, and more. All right, let's dive in and break it down. The T method is structured in a way where it is a foolproof method of solving math problems. For example, if you're given information regarding commission, loan amount, net operating income, or down payment, that will go on the top since it is a part or a portion of an entire or total amount. Now, if you're given sales price or market value or any total amount that would go in the total column on the left side, and any percent or rate will go in the right column. So if you're given a part and a rate, you will divide and get the total amount. If you're given a part and a total, you will also divide, then multiply by 100 to get the rate or percent amount. Now, if you're given a total and a rate, you will multiply and find the portion or the part. Remember that the part and the total are in dollar amounts and the rate is always a percent. Let's see this in action. Number one. If a property has a listing price of $550,000 and the seller agrees to pay a 4.5% commission to the listing agent, how much will the listing agent receive in commission? In this question, we see that there is a list price or sale price of $550,000. So that is the total amount and it will go in this column. Now I see that it has a commission amount of 4.5%. That goes in this column. Remember to always change your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So 4.5 divided by 100 equals 0 0.045. Now, according to the T method, we just multiply. $550,000 times 0 0.045 equals $24,750. So my answer here is D. Number two, a property has a net operating income of $90,000 and a market value of $1.5 million. What is the capitalization rate? In this question, we see a net operating income of $90,000 and a market value of $1.5 million. And they're asking what is the cap rate or percent amount? So the $90,000 will go in my part column and the $1.5 million will go in the total amount. Now, all we have to do is divide. So $90,000 divided by $1.5 million 
equals 0 0.06. Remember that this has to be displayed as a percent. So we take 0 0.06 and multiply by 100 and we turn it into a percent of 6%. So my answer is A. Number three, if a capitalization rate of 10.5% is used, what is the market value of an investment property assuming a net income of $8,424? In this example, I see they've given us a percent of 10.5%. So I know that that will automatically go in this column. I also see a net income of $8,424. Since that is a part or a portion of a whole amount, I am going to put that on the top. Since they are looking for market value, I know that I am in the right place. Now remember to always change your percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So I take 10.5 and divide by 100. That is going to equal 0 0.105. Now according to the t-chart, all we have to do is divide. So $8,424 divided by 0 0.105 equals $80,228.57. So the answer to this question is B. Congratulations, you're now equipped with the incredible tool, the T method, for conquering the math section of the real estate state exam. Remember, practice makes perfect, so grab your pen and start applying the T-Method to a range of problems. By mastering the T-Method, you unlock a world of benefits. You'll gain speed and accuracy, reduce anxiety during the exam, and save valuable time for more challenging questions. Practice is key, so make sure to incorporate the T-Method into your study routine. Solve various math problems, challenge yourself, and witness your problem-solving skills soar to new heights. If you're serious about passing your state exam and becoming a licensed real estate agent, then you gotta try the T method. I look forward to seeing you succeed in your real estate career. Your success is my success. Stay tuned for more exam preparation tips and tricks on our channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join our growing community of successful real estate agents. Best of luck on your journey, and we'll see you next time.